many bible teachings are self-focused what i can get out of it how i can make money from that scripture how i can make an impact on that scripture and that's the thing did you know that the gospel thriving in any place in scripture did not affect their economy huh? the gospel thriving in any place in scripture check the bible very well did not affect their economy do you know that during the time of paul the apostle with all his major revelations when the gospel was taught in nations there was slavery there was slavery in the days of brother paul do you know there was tyranny and there was poverty even in the days of jesus jesus's presence and the gospel he preached did not check, change the political climate and it did not affect the economy of the day it didn't it didn't all these one churches and say pastors are telling you if you pay tight it's an insurance if you give an offering you will prosper what, what fraud is that insurance from what so this almighty god that owns the earth and the fullness thereof cannot insure his people until you give him filthy lucre. listen carefully i don't care any man of god that preached it is wrong god's word says pay tight man of god said don't pay who will you believe i don't care the man of god is wrong this bible said bring all your tight the man of god said don't bring your tight who will you believe now make your choice okay don't pay tight see if your life will go forward okay but do you know god that god the father of our lord jesus christ who loves the world that he gave his only begotten son now will not do anything for you until you move him with filthy lucre you are dirty nigerian naira that cannot even compete in the global economy one dollar is one thousand five hundred naira god is waiting for that weak currency to make him do something how low is your god listen i'm a deep teacher of the world he said i will rebuke the devourer for your wealth when you are not a tighter any attack on you can take your life no matter the prayers so the first thing titan does is to protect your life and you can't use one scripture to cover the other scripture you can't say himself took my infirmities when you have not paid tight there's a man who sold his property he did not tight he doesn't believe in tight he doesn't pay tight small fever for four days it was gone if that is the god you're serving i mean my biological father is better it's my father that used to come to me and say, when are you paying school fees? When is your school resuming? What of your school books? Let me see. Do you have them come? My father does that without me asking. If you that are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your father? How much more your father? The kind of God that has been sold by organized religion is, is filthy. A filthy God a low esteemed god an insecured god and that's not the god of the bible it's not the god of the bible the god of the bible does not have those mannerisms tap move god if you saw a naira, god will say anyway you have tried but once god sees dollars he starts jumping it has happened it has happened it has happened but if it is pounds telling god will say it is flying time fly this guy has given me wings to fly what kind of god is that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. God said, if I were hungry, I would not ask you. If I want food, I will not ask you. All I want is your heart and of his fullness. Am I teaching here? Thank you, my daddy in the Lord, Dr. Ebed Amina, for pointing this out and uh, for trying to change the face of Christianity in Africa. Because for far too long, I personally think that the men of God, some of them obviously, have figured out a way to make so much money for themselves at the expense of their Christian. They have figured out a way to become super, super successful while their Christians have gone more and more broke. And I'm so glad that we are in this area of social media where people can share their experiences dealing with some men of God and some denominations. 
you go to some churches in Africa, in Nigeria, the number of donations and collections and offerings they will give will make your head spin. And you begin to ask yourself, if these people are this broke, how come the man of God, how come the church committee, how come the church executives would require them to give this amount of money? How come? Don't they have any shred of pity for ordinary people? You know, as humans, don't you pity people? They will ask offerings for this, offerings for that, donations for this, donations for that, this and that and this and that. The only person who becomes super, super rich is the man of God. The only person who becomes so prosperous is the man of God. And that is why you see we have multimillionaire pastors in Africa. Multimillionaires. They have used the Bible. They have turned the Bible upside down. They have stretched the words in the Bible just so it can suit their own agendas. And they are using it to steal from the people. And no one is saying anything about it. Nobody. No one cares. You know, no one cares. You will see educated people whom you think are more knowledgeable about life and the reality of things. But you'll be surprised how dumb and mumu they become when they get into the church. You'll be shocked. You see someone with, with a PhD becomes as foolish as anything could be when they get into the church. I don't understand. I really do not understand. Honestly, I don't. For those uneducated ones, for those less privileged people in society, people who do not have access to meaningful information or lack knowledge about something, for those ones, I empathize with them. I understand their situation and understand that they can be victimized by men of God because they do not know any better. For this one, I understand. But for other privileged people sitting in the church and shaking their head when a man of God is clearly, clearly telling a lie, they will say nothing. Those ones, I wonder where all their education has gone to. I wonder. I don't know if they really are dumb and foolish or they are just plain to be won. I don't know. I don't know if they have a vested interest in the church to play the fool's card. I don't know. But it's so embarrassing to see them play the fool. It's so embarrassing to see them sit there and do nothing. It's so embarrassing. So I am grateful for our daddy in the Lord, Dr. Ebe Damina, who is now championing this change in Africa, who is now saying that there are many things that men of God preach that is not correct that is being mis misinterpreted. And uh, in order for us to save the church, things are supposed to be corrected. Things are supposed to be done the proper way. Things are supposed to be done considering the era we now found ourselves. You wouldn't expect us to conform to people who lived 2,000 years ago. You wouldn't expect us to conform to the norms and the cultures of people who lived 1,000 years ago. We are here now. We are here today. And we have to live according to our own time. And the Bible must be interpreted following the day, the time, and the hour we are now in. That is how it is supposed to be.